All right, everybody, welcome to the video for lesson number four on synthetic division, kind of like part two. So with synthetic division, we can also divide by um, linear polynomial expressions that have a coefficient in front of x. We just have to do a little bit more thinking. Um, for this video, I'm not going to check the answers using multiplication. I'm going to assume by this point you know how to multiply polynomials together to check your answers. Um, so you should be doing that on your own. So the first one here has a 2x plus 1. To determine what goes in that box, what we're dividing by, we set this equal to 0. If you solve, you get negative 1 half. So negative 1 half is going to be what's in that box. Then I'll write down my coefficients, 4, negative 4, 1, and 2. The 4 comes down. Negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. That becomes negative 6. Negative 1 half times negative 6, well, that's going to be a positive 3. That becomes a 4. Negative 1 half times 4 becomes negative 2, giving me that remainder of 0. Then we have to go through and divide by the denominator. So we're going to divide by 2. It's always going to have a GCF when we have a fraction here. So finally, we would have 2, negative 3, 2, and still a remainder of nothing. So our final answer here is going to be 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. For the next one, the number that we're going to put in the box is 1 over 6. How I'm getting that is I'm solving the equation 6x minus 1 equals 0. If we then go through write our coefficients, we have 6, negative 1, negative 6, 7, and negative 1. The 6 comes down. 1, 6 times 6 is 1. That becomes nothing. Anything times nothing is nothing. That becomes negative 6. That was kind of a quick little process there. 1, 6 times negative 6 is negative 1. That becomes 6. 1, 6 of 6 is 1. Remainder, nothing. We're going to divide everything here by 6 because that was the denominator. So we get 1, 0, negative 1, 1, and remainder, 0. So since there are 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, this is going to start with x cubed. I could put 0x squared, but I'm not going to. Minus x plus 1. And the last one, we're going to put negative 4 thirds in the box. We have coefficients of 3, negative 14, negative 21, and 4. The 3 comes down. So if we multiply negative 4 thirds times 3, that gives me negative 4, which gives me negative 18 when I add. If I do that, um, I wind up getting a negative 4 thirds times negative 18, double negative is a positive, so that's going to become a positive 24. That becomes 3. 3 times any uh, negative 4 thirds is negative 4, which gives me 0. Divide everything by the denominator. So I have 1, negative 6, 1, still a remainder of 0. So my final answer here is x squared minus 6x plus 1. That's it. Quick homework assignment, um, other than the part where you had to go through and check. Um, hopefully this video helped, and we will be kind of reviewing everything tomorrow. Here's a helpful hint. If you're actually watching this video, you have a quick quiz tomorrow. It's on three questions from the notes in the first um, three lessons. You can do synthetic division for every question on there, but you might want to do long division for one of them because it just makes everything easier. There was a question we starred the other day in class I said was an important question to look at. Guess what? It's on your quick quiz tomorrow. So best of luck studying, and I will see you all tomorrow.